Hey everyone, welcome to another video by Simply Learn. In this video, we will discuss about TypeScript Express. Let's look at what's in it for you in this session. We'll first start with understanding what is TypeScript. Then we will look at what is Express.js. Followed by which we will look at some of the features of Express.js and advantages of using TypeScript with Express. And at last, we will have a hands-on demo. But before we begin, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and clicked on the bell icon so you never miss an update from Simply Learn. Watch the video till the end so that you don't miss out on the demo. So without wasting any further time, let's get started with TypeScript Express. What is TypeScript? TypeScript is an object-oriented and strongly typed language which is a superset of JavaScript. TypeScript is a variant of JavaScript with a few more features. TypeScript extends JavaScript with extra syntax to provide a more robust interface with your editor. TypeScript was designed by Anders Hijelsberg at Microsoft. TypeScript was created in response to the limitations of JavaScript for constructing large-scale applications within Microsoft and among its external customers. There was a demand for specialized tooling to make developing JavaScript components easier due to the complexity of working with complex JavaScript code. TypeScript code is converted to JavaScript, which can be executed anywhere JavaScript is supported, in a browser, on Node.js, and in any other application. TypeScript is a scripting language that understands JavaScript and relies on the type inference to deliver advanced functionalities without the need for additional code. What is Express.js? Express.js is a Node.js web application framework that is free and open source. It is used to quickly and easily design and create web apps. Web applications are applications that can be run through a web browser because Express.js simply requires JavaScript. Programmers and developers may create web applications and APIs with little effort. TJ Holovechuk created Express, which is now maintained by Node.js and several open source contributors. To construct our applications, Express provides a simple interface. It gives us the resources we need to create our app. It's adaptable because there are a lot more modules on NPM that can be directly integrated into Express. Let us look at some of the features of Express.js. Server-side development is made easier with Express. It's possible to create single-page, multi-page, and hybrid web apps with Express.js. Express enables middlewares to respond to HTTP requests to be configured. Middleware is primarily responsible for the orderly structure of Express.js various functions. Express.js has a comprehensive routing mechanism that uses URLs to maintain the state of a web page. It establishes a routing table that is used to carry out various operations based on the HTTP method and URL. Express.js has templating engines that enable developers to create dynamic content for web pages by creating HTML templates on the server. Express.js simplifies debugging by offering a debugging mechanism that can pinpoint a particular area of the web application that is causing problems. Advantages of Express.js Express.js makes developing Node.js web applications quickly and easily. Express.js is simple to set up and personalize. It allows to define application routes using HTTP methods and URLs. Express.js includes a number of middleware modules that can be used to execute additional requests and responses activities. It is simple to interface with a variety of template engines, including J 
Jade, Vash and EJS. It allows us to specify a middleware for handling errors. Express is used to make a REST API server and it's simple to provide your application static files and resources. Databases such as MongoDB, Redis and MySQL are simple to connect to Express.js. Now let us look at the demo on TypeScript Express. The prerequisites are we need to have an editor, maybe Visual Studio Code. Then we need to have Node.js installed and a package manager installed such as npm or yarn. So we'll jump into Visual Studio Code. Here I have created a new folder named Express TypeScript. Then we will go to the terminal. Next we will run the command npx typescript hyphen in it will initialize typescript. Next to initialize the node.js application we will run the command yarn in it. We, once we have initialized the node.js application, we just need to click enter. Just click enter. And we have successfully saved the package.json file. Next, we need to make a new directory. We'll make a new directory source. Next, we'll install the touch CLI globally with the command npm install. touch CLI so after installing this we'll run the command touch source inside the source folder we'll create the file app.ts So here you can see we have created the file app.ts inside the source folder. So after this we will install TypeScript. To install TypeScript run the command yarn add TypeScript node dev TypeScript hyphen d. So after this we need to install express to install express run the command yarn space add express next we need to add node modules and express modules for that run the command yarn add type slash node type slash express so let us now go to the app.ts file and run the code We'll close this. So I'll copy paste a few lines of code here. Wherein I have imported express module. 
the constant app creates an express function and we have express.json and we have returning a message hello world so we'll save this and we are running it on the local host with port number 3000 so we'll save this and run it to run it we'll just run the command yarn def so application is listening at the local host 3000 so we'll copy this and open in the browser here we go it's showing the message hello world similarly we have routing like this example with app.get and app.host the app object provides a collection of functions that attach callbacks to http requests made to define destinations and other http methods such as post put patch and delete can also have callbacks attached to them the router object is another approach to set up routing you can call the get put and patch and delete methods on a router object just like you do on a app object and similarly we have request and response so the request object holds information about http request including headers query strings and parameters when when an http request is received the response object represents the http response that the application provides similarly for response the send method is the most significant one it sends the http response to the client so that it can be received the function accepts a variety of data kinds including strings objects arrays and buffers the send method finishes the response process with data but you can alternatively use the end function to end it without any data The request and response objects are accessible to middleware function. It can join the request response cycle at any point. A third argument that middleware receives is the next function. The get callback which processes the HTTP get request that we wrote in this example is an example of middleware. It's highly unique middleware that only works in one situation they can also carry out more general duties so with that we have reached the end of this video like and share it if you found it interesting thank you for being here keep learning and stay tuned to simply learn Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.